The video for today delves further into the enigmatic AMC FTDs's inability to produce the tipped 1.5 billion shorts, as well as how a stunned tweet raises the possibility that Monday may be a crucial day for short sellers. Let's first examine the situation with GME and an MC FDEs. It appears that the data release for the second half of May is likewise being delayed after the data release for May 13th. They probably don't want to release the information since short sellers are unable to cover the high FTDs. When FTD numbers were this high in the past, shorts were in serious trouble. This has happened previously and MC's FTDs went T3, indicating that the shorts received a lot of media attention. A tweet from Gold claims that it's difficult for short sellers to find shares to sell. The fact that they are attempting to conceal FTD facts exacerbates this. Telegram a few crucial pieces of information are necessary before we can comprehend the circumstances surrounding short sellers. Because it is underground, the Federal Reserve has lost almost $1 trillion in paper money, unrealized losses incurred by U.S. Commercial and securities institutions total $1,517 billion. This is a result of the market's reaction to cheap money. The state of finances today this scenario highlights the overvaluation of some securities and highlights the instability of the current market economy. Equities that are utilized as collateral, such as NVIDIA and other equities, will likely fall the hardest during an economic downturn, harming short sellers who depended on these inflated assets as collateral. The unrealized losses of 1,517 billion rubles attributed to banks demonstrate how precarious their position is in the market. If the losses become too great, these institutions might recall loans, which would further erode their position. A tweet from Yasin Kors highlighted how short sellers' problems are a strong indication of this fragile position. Prior to this, the SE had denied informing us of the 150 million FTDs in its first week and the 43 million FTDs of APE on its first trading day. The lack of openness surrounding FTDs suggests data concealment and manipulation. Suspiciously low volumes during the first trading days of APE might point to manipulation. Similar circumstances currently exist with the MC's FTDs, where data is being suppressed to conceal fundamental issues. Given that FTD data is being withheld, it is possible that our attempts to uncover and scrutinize short sellers are impacting their business plans, leading them to conceal data in order to maintain the appearance of normalcy. Logan's tweet highlights the significance of little doses for MC and GNGNGA. AMC had 31 billion shares exchanged last month, whilst GME saw 269 billion shares traded. Daily short volumes for both equities are between 50 and 60 percent, and for GE, they can reach 70 percent. According to self-reported data, there have been over 15 billion indicated short volumes for MC alone, indicating that the stock price of MC is still being driven lower. It's possible that there are actually a lot more short positions than $5 billion fives. An MC was last seen for $14.99, was slightly less than the critical doll 5 threshold. At that point, there were 32,000 call options, which had an impact on the strike price. A gamma squeeze, which would drive up the price of an MC and force smaller short sellers to liquidate their holdings, is what this modification aims to prevent. An MC's price is kept low as part of the aim to protect it from the pressure of call option workouts. The purpose of this approach is to maintain AMC's low price during a gamma squeeze in order to prevent price increases. The T, according to a text message from Yonder, brokers were required to locate shares and deliver them by Monday, not Friday, as Kitty had exercised her option on Thursday. This is just one more method of manipulating the market. The market did not move much on Friday as a result of this incorrect understanding of the settlement cycle, and Monday might not immediately result in a short squeeze. It puts brokers and market makers' flexibility and liquidity to the test by demonstrating how difficult it is for them to locate and send shares. More information on the manipulation methods is provided in a tweet by Peruvian Bull, which also notes that on January 27, 2021, Apex Clearance botched a trade involving 385 million shares. This led to a fictitious increase in volatility, which served as justification for an emergency freeze. The fact that this manipulation was not detected for a long time illustrates how difficult it is for short sellers to maintain control over MC and GMEA. In conclusion, the persistent issues with FTD data concealing enormous volumes of short trades and manipulation techniques demonstrate how challenging it is for short sellers. The unrealized losses of commercial banks and the paper losses of the Federal Reserve exacerbate the state of the market. This is a result of the ongoing exposure of these tactics by private investors. The increased pressure on short sellers may soon lead to significant shifts in the market. We've got nothing more for you today. How do you feel about the stock of MC? 
Thanks for seeing and please let us know in the comments section below.